Hello everyone, welcome back to So Power Tarot and Coaching. I'm so excited to be here with you for another pick a card video. We are going to look at what this full moon is going to bring for all of you. So this is group one, this rose quartz crystal, group two is the evil eye keychain, group three will be the uh, this is a green adventure in pendulum. So pick a card, pick a card, pick an object, pick a number. So one, two, and three. Um, however you want to do it, take three deep breaths and pick. Some people have been using a random number picker through Google. So that's another idea for those of you who really can't decide and are not are having trouble connecting with your intuition at this moment. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. And we're going to start with group number one. So I'm going to move group number three over here. So we're going to start with group number one. And group number one, you all picked this rose quartz. So rose quartz is all about love, self-love, emotion, and I do feel like for you all, this full moon number ones um, is going to bring a lot of emotion. The full moon does bring a lot of pent up emotions to the surface, I have to say. So don't be surprised um, if you feel all of that, any sadness, any anger, any frustration for a certain person, a certain company, a certain a project that you're working on, all of that is going to come to the surface. Okay. This new moon is going to bring it to the surface for you to connect with it and to let it go. Okay. So basically to heal it and let it go. So let's see what Oracle card you got. Oh, the new life. Um, one of my favorite in this deck, the new life is all about new beginnings. Some of you are going to have a burst of energy or motivation. Some of you are going to have new beginnings in relationships. If you're already dating, some of you are going to meet new people. So this is all about new beginning, new, um, new beginnings, new opportunities, but just a new, a fresh burst of energy, positive energy. Okay. For group one. So that's already looking good. We're going to leave that here. Group ones. Um, and now I'm going to pick your cards. So let's take a look. You'll hear me, hear me shuffling in the background. So let's see for group one. Group one. What is coming up for group one? What is this full moon going to bring for group one? What is this full moon going to bring for group one? And what is this full moon going to bring for group one? Okay. First card. Five of swords. Some struggles. What is the new moon going to bring for group one? What is the new moon going to bring for group one? What is the new moon going to bring for group one? And what is the new moon going to bring for group one? So group one, um, let's see. What is, I'm going to slide this card over here and make room because I want to pick five cards. So I'm going to pick one more. What is the new moon, sorry, what is the full moon going to bring for group one? Okay, so here we are. Group one, I also like to look at the bottom of the deck, so I'm going to do that. You have the strength card, and this deck is called Lust. Okay, some of you are going to be lusting after your partners. You're going to be lusting after people that you're attracted to, so it could very well be. But this is the strength card, and so this month is going to make you feel feel good. As you can see, this person is on their horse, feeling themselves, connecting with the energies, and any sort of um, discomfort, any negative, any negative energy, you'll be able to handle it just fine. Okay. You'll handle it like a champ, like a lion. So nothing is going to get in your way through this full moon. Whatever happens, you'll be on top of it. You'll handle it and you'll feel better for dealing with it. Okay, so that's the lust or the strength card in this deck. So you have the five of swords. Five of swords is all about being in your head. Okay, um, group one. This is all about being in your head, really 
um, fighting with yourselves internally, but it's also about arguments in general. So you may have people who will try to start arguments um, this month. Group two, you're going to have people who will try you um, and who want to sort of compete. Sorry, group one. Um, you're going to have some difficulties. Mostly it'll be um, mental, you all overthinking things, but also there will be people who may start some minor arguments around you. The six of pentacles, this is about money coming in. Okay, um, this is for those of you who are waiting for any type of benefit, any type of money to come in, you're going to get that. This is all about getting that help. For those of you who are, um, for those of you who are expecting money, this is saying it's coming, but it's also, this is unexpected money, you know, unexpected money, generosity from someone. You could be, receive a monetary gift from someone, um, from someone who's really generous you could also um, receive, I mean, unexpected money. This could be expected or unexpected for all, for you all, group number one. The queen of pentacles. So you all are also going to be focused on your goals this month, this full moon, um, group one. And you will have what you need financially. The full moon is going to bring you the abundance, the prosperity that you need. Um, I see you, you are also focusing on bettering your home, decorating your homes. Um, I'm seeing that for some of you. Um, and some of you are just going to be focusing on just lifting yourselves up and the finances are going to come. You're, whatever you try to manifest group one, um, through this full moon, you will manifest. So it's, it's also a moon that's going to bring powerful manifesting energies for you all you will be able to achieve your goals if you focus on it during this full moon the seven of wands this beautiful purple card here you all uh, group ones you again this is about having the confidence to move through any issues that come your way um, you are going to move full steam ahead you will have some minor issues but you'll move forward you will have people who are trying to keep you down trying to stand in your way not wanting to see you progress but you'll move through it you all are going to be so confident um this month that you'll move through it so um this is the princess of wands which is equivalent to the page of wands again it's all about enthusiasm you guys enthusiasm feeling really um encouraged to move forward to achieve your goals and so it's also about good news so you all will receive good news as well positive news regarding your goals regarding finances um and but there will be this enthusiasm as you can see the energy in these this particular card um here this person's fooling uh, fooling they're feeling so full of life you know, they're feeling so full of life. They are just wanting to move full spring ahead with their, um, their, their goals, their opportunities. They're feeling really passionate, you know, they're feeling really, really passionate about the goals, um, their goals and moving forward. Okay. Feeling really enthusiastic and motivated. So you all, that's, that's what's going to happen for you all group ones. You're going to feel really motivated and enthusiastic about your goals about life um this month as well so that those are your messages group one thank you so much for watching love and light to you don't forget to like share subscribe and also let me know in the comments how this resonates with you and for those of you group ones who watched my new moon video if anything came to pass if anything resonated from the new moon video you can also put it down below in the comments all right group ones take care now we're going to move on to group two so group two you all chose this lovely evil eye okay um, I was going to call it a pendulum. It is not. It's a keychain. As you can see, the key ring on it here. So um, it is an evil eye keychain. Trying to give you all a um, closer look. There you go. Uh, so I'm going to move that out of the way and look at your... Oh, actually, with this evil eye keychain, this is you all needing to protect your energy. 
Um, evil has always also bring good luck. So there's good luck, but there's also a need to protect yourself from negativity, negative Nellies, also from, you know, scammers. People are going to present opportunities um, that are just, are too good to be true. Okay. During this full moon. So you have the, all that glitters. Okay. And this is a lovely card. This card here though, is warning you all group twos that what you may see as a good opportunity from the outside, what you may, what you may feel as someone who is offering you a good opportunity or even with these masks, somebody who's presenting themselves as the ideal partner, um, whether it's romantic, whether it's in business, someone who's giving you, presenting you with something that you, you feel from the outside looks really good. This card is saying it doesn't necessarily mean that that opportunity is good for you, that that person is good, or if an ex is coming back and presenting themselves as changed and they're going to do right by you and all this, this is saying to look deeper because it's a facade, it's a mask, whatever this opportunity is, is not right for you. It's not a good opportunity. There is, um, under the surface, it's just no good. Okay. Or the person is no good, or they don't have good intentions for you. Do your research, look deeper. Okay. So you're going to have all these shiny things and opportunities and people who you are drawn to, but this is cautioning you to do your research. Okay. Um, for number two, so I'm going to pick your cards now. I'm going to pick your cards now. And so let's take a look. Let's see what's coming up for group number two. Okay, I'm going to start here. So what's coming up for group number two? What is the full moon going to bring for group number two? And that's the world card that I just put down. What is the full moon going to bring for group number two? What is the full moon going to bring for group number two? What is the full moon going to bring for group number two? What is the full moon going to bring for group number two? What is the full moon going to bring for group number two? Okay, so that is five cards, group number two. The card, ooh, the card at the bottom of the deck is the three of swords. So you see group two, if you are not careful, you will get ripped off. You'll get your heart broken. You're going to get taken advantage of. So definitely whatever opportunities come your way, look, definitely do your research because this is a part of getting heartbroken, getting taken advantage of. Um, you know, mostly heartbroken uh, with this three of swords. So some of you might experience some stress or some, I mean, not necessarily heartbreak, but something that really, um, hurts you. You know, someone may say something that hurts you. Uh, you'll, you'll get attitude from someone that's really hurtful. Okay. With the three of swords there. Um, sorry, all kinds of things are going off in the background. So I turned everything off. Um, so yeah, um, that just be mindful of that. And I do feel like it's, it's really talking about that all that glitters. The Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning. This is my favorite Ace of Cups card, you guys. I just, I love the, the imagery on the, in these cards. So the Ace of Cups, um, here is saying that there's going to be new beginnings, new love, Cups are love's emotion. Some of you are just going to feel very emotional. Some of you will start new romantic relationships. And some of you who are already in relationships will experience a new emotional beginning in those relationships. Okay, that's what the Ace of Cups is. Um, the Nine of Cups. Um, again, another beautiful card. So the Nine of Cups here. This is saying that you are going to get whatever you um, are hoping for, especially in terms of love, single or not, you're going to get it. This full moon is going to help you bring that into your life. And the Nine of Cups is also about fulfillment. Okay. Happiness, fulfillment, getting your wishes. So this here, there's something that you all have been working on or been wanting for a while that you're going to acquire. Um, this full moon is going to help you acquire finally. So, and this is a card about whatever you focus on, you know, wishes coming true. So this is a good month group two or a good 
moon group two is for focusing on your goals and what you want and achieving fulfillment. So the ace of cups, I have to say, for those of you who are going to start a new relationship, it's going to be, it's going to be one that really works out, that you're happy with, that you're fulfilled with. It's, it, this person may be the one, the nine of cups is saying that this will be the one you've been waiting for. Now, for those of you who are in a relationship, this is saying that you're going to experience fulfillment and happiness in your relationship again. If you're, you know, it went, it, things were going sour or so, or sort of things were feeling like they're dying out or just in general, there's just going to be this new burst of uh, romantic energy there. The six of swords, this is all about, again, healing, um, healing and mo moving past difficulties in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, if you're not really letting go of an, of an ex, someone, you know, being over an ex and being healed from that. Okay. This is also, some of you may move. Some of you, um, may move. Six of Swords, um, is a card about moving as well. So usually there are people in a boat or for water. So some of you may move. Some of you may go on a small trip during this full moon phase. So there's that for you all. Number twos and the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, this is, you all again feeling like you you're fighting yourselves you're battling you see all these swords you're battling yourselves mentally but this is also some of you may get taken advantage of okay and because it's coming after the six of swords those of you who are going to move um you might have maybe the movers maybe people maybe the places you're renting someone trying to take advantage of you and maybe asking for more money um than they should or really um, not providing good services but charging all this money and for those of you who are not moving this may be if you're going on a small trip this is being getting taken advantage of on this trip so be careful be mindful and for those of you who are already in a relationship you'll feel taken for granted by your partners for those of you who are not and meeting this new person you'll be afraid of being taken advantage of Okay, um, I just noticed that I skipped the first card. Um, this is the world card. So I'm going to go back to it. This is the world card here. The universe card. This is, this is the world card. And this is about achieving your goals. Everything coming together this month. Okay. And you having this deeper connection with the universe and the universe giving you what you want. So be mindful of your thoughts. Be mindful of what you are focusing on okay that's what this card is about so sorry number two so i just realized i skipped it and went to the cards underneath it so that is your reading just be vigilant remember be vigilant do your research um new partners exes all of that um do your research and make sure it's what you want make sure it's right for you before you jump in because you will have whether it's a partner or something else, there's going to be something that's not so good with all that glitters. Okay. So be mindful. Um, although you have the nine of cups right here, which is saying that whatever this is, but it's more referring to this love here, this new burst of energy or this new love, um, is what it's referring to. Okay. Um, and some of you may have more than one person for those of you who are single um, an ex or even more than one person who expresses interest, one of them may not have good intentions. Okay. So the all that glitters is kind of saying not to also the message behind the all that glitters is not to focus on so much the material things, but the essence of a person, their feelings for you, their personality, for those of you who are going to enter a new relationship. Okay. And that's what that, that means as well to look beyond the surface, beyond, you know, the obvious, beyond the things that, yeah, the shiny things. Okay. So that is for you all a uh, group number two, love and light to you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if this resonates with you. Okay. Either now or as we progress through the full moon, uh, through this full moon. Once again, group two, love and light to you. Thank you again for watching. And yeah, please also comment in the
comments box below. You can even, even tell me if you liked it, what you like, what you didn't like, what you resonated with, and all of that stuff. All right, now on to group threes. Last but not least, group three. So you all had this beautiful green adventure in Pendulum, okay? And what this means here for you all is there's money coming in. Green Adventure is all about money. Pendulums are all about divination and they tell us, you know, they can answer yes or no questions and stuff like that. So you're all going to get clarity, clarity about your finances. Okay. And, um, also clarity in general, something that you've been working on. There's going to be clarity. There's going to be, um, for some of you, success. I'm feeling like for some of you, it's going to be, sorry about that. So for some of you, it's going to be success, right? It's going to be success. So, and yeah, clarity and you're going to be connected to your intuition. Okay. And some of you, money's coming in. Green Adventure and it's about money. So now here we go. You've got the happy, happy card. So, wow, it's a really beautiful card. You are going to just feel joy. You're going to feel happy. You're going to have a burst of positive energy. That is what the full moon is going to bring for you all, group number threes. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So, I'm going to now pick your cards. I'm going to shuffle and pick your cards. Group number three. Okay. What is the full moon going to bring for group number three? Okay, what is the full moon going to bring for group number three? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up here. Group number three, okay, put this up here. What is the full moon going to bring? Oops, for group number three. So, here you go. And what is the full moon going to bring for group number three? Ooh, money. Look at you all. Okay, so the green adventure. And what is the full moon going to bring for group number three? What is the full moon going to bring for group number three? Okay, and what is the full moon going to bring for group number three? Okay, all right. And as you all know, I like to start with the card that's on the bottom of the deck for you all group number three it is the devil in reverse so it's 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 a position that we like seeing it in when it's upright it's more negative when it's reversed um it's the opposite of the negative meaning which is saying that you all are going to be just disconnecting from negative energy you're not going to let that affect you you're not going to let that um harm you you're not going to let it you're just going to disconnect from negative Nellies and anyone who's trying to take you down, who's trying to cause trouble. You're going to be so happy and your inner vibration is going to be so high that you're just not even going to entertain this. Okay. You're not going to let anyone, you know, take you in this, tangle you in their web of deceit and negativity and you all are not having it. Okay. And for some of you, if you have negative people around you or someone who it has been causing a lot of issues and um, keeping you down. You're going to this new moon or full moon, I should say, sorry about that, is going to help you get away from this person. Okay, get out of their grips and their, you know, away from this negative influence, but this negative grip they have or this negative influence they have on your life. Okay, so that is a devil in reverse. So we can put him back. Don't need you. <laughs> no place for you here. So you have the eight of swords. So you all are going to feel anxiety. You're going to hold back, even though you're happy and all that. Some of you are going to be so in your head and you're going to feel, not feel confident enough to use this happy energy, to use this positivity, to move forward. Okay. You're going to overthink it with the eight of swords. Um, the fool. So the full card here, this is about new beginnings, new opportunities, and you all just jumping right in. As you can see, the grace behind this person, the lion, um, you all are going to have good opportunities. And the ace of swords, sorry, the eight of swords right there is saying you all are going to be like, mm, I don't know if I want to take it. I don't know if I should do this. You're going to hold back out of a little bit of anxiety, out of fear, out of, because you're going to overthink it. 
you know. Um, but you have the Nine of Pentacles right after it, Group 3. And this is saying that this is a very good opportunity. It's going to bring you finances. It's going to bring you abundance. Okay, usually the Nine of Pentacles is a woman. And she's got all this fruit and all these coins around her. Um, this is a lot of abundance. Okay, reaping your reward. So this opportunity, whatever this is, it's going to bring money and then some. Okay, so it's definitely a good opportunity. Um, the, the Magnus, the Magnus is the magician in this deck. So this is all about you all being able to manifest this money. Um, you all being able to tap into your talents to really make this happen that you're going to realize, Oh, I have these talents. Oh, I have these characteristics. I have these tools around me within me that I can use to make this money. I didn't even know that I had this all along. You know, and it's just going to make you realize the different ways after you start seeing this money, it's going to make you realize the different ways you can make money. Okay. So you have the art. So in this deck, the art here is the temperance. So as this is happening, you guys, you guys are going to just be like, okay, this is this energy. All these things feel too good to be true. Like, is this really happening? I do see you all having a hard time. Group three is wrapping your head around these good things that are happening that start to happen for you. And you'll struggle to balance it. You'll struggle to find a balance. You'll have moments where you're really happy with it. Then you'll have other moments um, where you're kind of doubting yourself because say happy, happy, eight of swords. So you're going to, it's going to feel bittersweet until you find a balance. Okay. Um, and I think that's where this double reverse comes in, where you're going to, um, realize that these are good, this, you deserve this and this is a good opportunity and you're going to disconnect from that negative energy, that ego voice inside that wants to keep you from achieving your potential or even people who are like, oh, this is crazy. Maybe for now it worked, but it's not going to work again or something like that. Like those naysayers, um, Okay, so you guys just shine. You guys are going to find um, that the more you carry on with this, the more money will come through it or the more successful it's going to be. So this full moon is going to help you all shine and really achieve your, your financial goals and really feel confident. The Magnus is all about feeling confident with who you are, with what you, the goals you have, with what you bring to the table, what, what, with what you have to offer this world and your family and those around you being proud of it. Even if it's different from what your family would want for you, or, um, it's different from others. Just be you, you know, this full moon is going to shine a light on you know, those qualities that you should focus on. And if you do, the result is money, nine of pentacles right there. And also being very happy. Okay. So this is a lovely, um, reading to end with. Um, this energy is so lit in this reading, you guys, it is, I, I can't even begin to tell you, like, I feel it, um, so strongly. Um, so this, I, I know this is going to be something good for you all. This is, this is really going to lift you to another level and inspire and motivate you. So I'm so happy for you, group three. I hope you enjoy this reading. And I hope you really step into your power and take advantage of this energy while it's there. Love and light to you all group threes. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, share, and let me know in the comment section below if you like this reading, if it resonated with you, or even later on throughout this phase of the full moon, because it lasts for two weeks, let me know how these readings uh, pan out for you and if it resonated for you. Once again, thank you again for watching, love and light to you, and happy full moon, everyone. Take care. Bye.